So, on the pro level, most teams have one shot caller. Someone who decides the direction of what the team is going to do. I've spent a lot of time trying to understand what this means and feel I can finally give some real insight into this to help you have a better and more synchronized team. So first question, who should actually be the shot caller? Should it be the loudest person in your group? Should it be the pro Genji player on your team? Does it really matter who and anyone can do it? The answer is that the shot caller usually is a support player. And of the supports, Lucio is in the best position to do this. Now if you have a tank like Winston, he can also be the shot caller or simply have two shot callers since both Lucio and Winston have the ability to start and finish an engagement. However, it's usually Lucio since he can speed up the entire team. The other reason is that Lucio, despite having advanced tactics you can learn, doesn't have the moment to moment decision making like other heroes need to have to succeed. Like DPS for example. So much of their focus is on making sure their aim and positioning is on point that they don't have room in their brains to keep track of everything that's going on on the battlefield. Lucio can heal without much effort compared to a, another support like Ana. So because of the free brain space, he is able to take in everything that's going on. So what are the things you want to take in and report to the team? What should you be doing as the team shot caller? First is you have to have a really good grasp on the enemy ultimates. Like, really good. You need to know every hero's callouts when they ultimate so you know which ones are active and used up. For example, it took me a while to be able to listen out for Widowmaker's Infrasight ultimate. She says her line in French, and it's pretty quiet when you have all this gunfire and explosions going on. But you need to learn to listen for that and have a rough countdown in your head of 15 seconds to know that the entire enemy team sees you, and to remind your team to keep jumping around so they don't get picked off easily. And also remind any flankers like Tracer to stay back for a bit since she will easily be focused down. You need to know that the Reaper that is Wraith forming and positioning himself in the middle of your team, yes, people still do this, hasn't used his ultimate in a while and will likely have it. Or maybe someone just switched to Reaper and they are just playing a bad Reaper. Or if he teleported up top. Keeping track of enemy ultimates is a great skill to have and is very difficult to do as, say, a Genji that is trying to land those shurikens, deciding whether to engage a certain target or move on to the next one, keep track of his cooldown so he knows when to pull back. That's a lot to deal with that the support heroes just don't usually have to deal with. Second is you need to be able to keep track of man advantage. People are learning that if you lose one or two of your teammates, you may want to pull back and regroup, which is a good thing to keep track of that. However, you didn't take into account the enemy. They could have also lost two people as well and may have even lost both healers. These things you have to keep in mind and decide whether it's worth to stay in the fight or not. So again, you have to keep track of man advantage and decide to push into the enemy or pull back and regroup. Next is your team has to trust you. As a shot caller, they do have to follow your decisions. Even if they think it's wrong, they have to listen. It's better to follow your shot caller's decisions and fail than to ignore it and do what you think is the best choice. Why? Because by choosing a different tactic than your shot caller, you are splitting the team, almost guaranteeing failure no matter what. And also you may come to find out that you are actually in the wrong and if you only had followed your shot caller's decision, then you wouldn't have to know that you caused your team to fail. Overwatch only works if you are one cohesive unit. Next is you have to trust your team. As a shot caller, you have to know your limits. You cannot be a dictator and tell them what they need to do every little step of the way. Your team should know how to play their role and what they can and cannot do. And you have to know that you will even miss something important and your team may have seen it before you. So trust your team to make the right decisions. They may have abilities on cooldown or aren't in the best position to help at the moment. You are free to call out low health targets, yes, but trust your team will handle that and don't be a dictator about it. Make sure to be open to input as well, no matter how much more you may know about the game than your team. Again, you may have missed something. I'll actually cover how to make good callouts in another upcoming video. Manage the comms. Keep the team talking. Sometimes people get so focused on doing their job they forget to do callouts and you have to remind them to keep talking. So if you notice it's a bit quiet then you know things are being missed, so remind your team to call those things out. The opposite is also true. Sometimes there is too much being said. Your team should prioritize which targets are more important. Sure, you can call out that Lucio that's decided to flank your entire team, 
but it's not the immediate danger compared to a nano boosted Genji. So try to keep the chat short, clean, and clear. That also goes for junk talk. Your team can get frustrated and do the whole, How did I die? That was so stupid. Must have been lag. This game cheats. How long did it take to say that sentence? A few seconds, right? And they usually are screaming it, so your teammates that are making legitimate callouts can't be heard. So when that happens, just say, Okay guys, clear the chat. And that will let them know. Technically, anyone can do this, but as a shot caller, I think it's an important tool to have. So that's all guys. If I missed anything, let me know in the comments below. If this helped at all, I'd also like to read your comments. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to share, like, and subscribe to the channel. My name is Chit, and I approve this message.